So why why is identity important, right? That's the big one, right? Because when moving to the cloud, identity is at the center of everything that you do in the cloud. Those that understand role-based access control, how you auth, how you authenticate, all of those things, identity is at the I wouldn't say at the root, I was going to say the root of all evil, because it's not the root of all evil, but it's the one thing that you need to worry about out of everything else. Spinning up a virtual machine or a container, some sort of Kubernetes, the cloud native technologies that you are working with today, they all rely on being able to identify with the users. In the old days, we used to call it claims-based authentication. Now you've got that with conditional access policies. If it walks like a duck and it talks like a duck and it looks like a duck, it's a duck, right? Even now, LinkedIn, if you had to create a LinkedIn account today, they are going to make sure that you take a photo of your identity document to prove that you're a real human. That's what they do. Otherwise, you can't have an account in LinkedIn. So uh, that's where the shift, the paradigm shift is going, where you have to provide some measurement of identity, even for applications that you're currently working on. Now, when we look at identity in this space, it's actually broken up into three areas, right? And one is obviously the identity. We've just talked about that. And once that identity has been not identified, but, you know, I have an account to log in to some sort of system or just authenticate against that, we really go through authentication. And it's really the process of verifying, you know, who this identity and entity is and what sort of access they have, you know, and... We can filter that from a risk profiling perspective, looking at MFA and various other things that we can ask you to do, like give a vial of your blood and, and your firstborn. You know, that's how they used to do it in the in the dark ages, right? Um, we've obviously moved on from then. And then the other part, not to be confused with authentication, is what you are actually authorized to access in your environment. And that's vitally important to understand the difference between authentication and authorization. I can come in, I can be authorized to see the standard SharePoint intranet, but uh, I can authentic I can be authenticated to see that service, but it doesn't mean I'm authorized to consume that service. And I think that delineation is important when you start looking at role-based access control and permissions and elevated permissions and privileged identities inside of your identity management system. In this case, we will be referring to Entra because this is all about Microsoft. And the one thing we wanted to talk about, and it's dear to to Nick's heart, is zero trust. Nick, do you want to take this one? I can see you itching. Oh, I love the slide. But uh, I, I love the slide in the context that it is, which is zero trust. So one of the things I like to, to harp on a lot is when you build a zero trust thing. And we happen to know a little bit about zero trust because we had to build out a or helped to build out an entire framework about it is where to get started. And with a zero trust architecture for identity, and you can see obviously the slide is very identity heavy. We have this thing in the middle called the zero trust policy, which is actually also the thing called the zero trust architecture. So what can happen when and where by whom? Lots of W's in there. And if we look at everything on the left, those are the things where things get really, really sticky because we've got human identities as well as endpoint identities. And then, of course, endpoint devices and devices can do things that are very different in the identity space. We can maybe touch on that later when we talk about applications. And if we look at the stuff on the right, you can see that if we do the stuff on the left really well, which we need to be fanatical about if we're going to be fanatical about anything and and chant and light candles the stuff on the left <laughs> is where it's at if you are fanatical about identity security and fanatical about patching and endpoint security you actually win close on about 96 to 98 percent of the war depending on who you talk to then you have time to do the stuff on the right which you'll see includes a thing called apps now, application security is its own webinar, and we can talk about how yeah. horrible application yeah. security is at length. So, but for yeah. today, I just want to say that what we're going to be talking about takes that thing called apps on the right and moves it squarely into the left, which is confusing both for you who write applications as well as you who think that you are only dealing with identities. 
I think the important part here, when we look at this slide, and uh, this is part of the Microsoft Cybersecurity Reference Architecture. It has been updated in December. That's why you've got all the products laid out on the screen. The, the fallible things, right, um, is on the far left. Devices can fail, devices can, can be compromised. And for well, the most important, most importantly, humans are fallible. We make mistakes. Someone gets a phishing mail that says, hey, it's been mailed from, uh, I use the same example, right? Someone gets a mail from their child's school saying that they need to fill in a form. And they click on the link and it opens up an Office 365, portal.office.com auth page, and they put their username and password in. Gone, compromised, right? So understand that identities, in this case, we're going to be talking about how applications, you know, the application lens on top of identities, but it's important to understand how important identities is. And that's why we've we've gone through these slides to make sure that this is your biggest single point of failure inside of your uh, security posture or your cybersecurity framework, whatever that looks like. Now, it's important to understand that. And 